Welcome to my channel. Congratulations for Professor Yasha Narayasamy with the Nobel Prize 2016 in Medicine. I have visited many blogs of many celebrities that I am following to see what they say about the Nobel Prize in Medicine in the year of 2016 for the Japanese Professor Yasha Narayasamy. People's sayings that I mention here in this article are from a Vietnamese expert Professor Nguyen Van Thuan, and statements from Corey Bargman, a journalist. Some comments from New York Times newspaper and Chan Mark Zuckerberg Initiative fan page, Funds for Education Innovation. Chan Zuckerberg Initiative released in its fan page, Congratulations to Dr. Yasha Narayasamy for receiving the Nobel Prize for his research in autophagy. His work to better understand a cell's internal cleanup mechanism, crucial to healthy cell functioning, is a leap toward greater understanding of the way our bodies work. It's the achievements of scientists like Dr. Rasami that make us confident that working together, we will prevent, manage, or cure all diseases in our children's lifetime. Corey Bargman said, Sometimes when I come home, I realize that my house is not going to clean itself. However, unlike my house, cells in the body remove their own damaged and unneeded materials, and recycle them for future use, through a process called autophagy. Dr. Yasha Narayasamy's work on the mechanisms of autophagy defined its essential role in nutrient homeostasis, and also has implications for disease processes in neurodegeneration and cancer. An amazing body of work. Apart from New York Times's post, it is a crucial process. During starvation, cells break down proteins and non-essential components and reuse them for energy. Cells also use autophagy to destroy invading viruses and bacteria, sending them off for recycling. And cells use autophagy to get rid of damaged structures. The process is thought to go awry in cancer, infectious diseases, immunological diseases and neurodegenerative disorders. Disruptions in autophagy are also thought to play a role in aging. But little was known about how autophagy happens, what genes were involved, or its role in disease and normal development until Dr. Rasami began studying the process in Baker's Yeast. Some other comment from the blog of Professor Nguyen Van Thuan. This is a deserved reward for pioneering contributions of Oshumi in 30 years. To understand the significance of the research of Professor Yasha Norai Oshumi, we should start with the protein. Every day, our bodies have to remove the damaged tissues and proteins, and replace them with new tissues and proteins. The most typical is in the bone, every moment, our bodies remove old bones and replacing them with new bones. This cycle occurs on an ongoing basis, lifelong, very consistently with Buddhist philosophy. Buddha once said that the impermanence of aging and death, no one can escape, here morning gone evening and passed away in just a moment. It can be understood as the process of birth, removal in our bodies every second, until the day we leave this world. What Buddhist philosophy is very important for the scientific community, because based on that, we can be inspired and research ideas. Briefly, autophagy is the process of cell regeneration. Every day our bodies need about 0.8 grams per 1 kilogram of body weight. For example, I weigh 75 kilograms, the amount of protein I need is about 60 grams. Remember that is a simple estimate, but it is more complex in reality, because the amount of protein in our body also depends on many other factors. In general, our bodies need about 60 grams to 80 grams of protein per day. But every day, our bodies excrete about 70 grams protein. Cell regeneration mechanism has a great significance to almost all subjects. This mechanism explains why we can survive in hunger periods. Autophagy mechanism also explains why our bodies can repair damaged bone and heal after fractures as an example. However, as Professor Oshumi said, the process of cell regeneration is still in its infancy, so there are a lot of questions without for the final answers. That's why autophagy is becoming a fashionable trend research. In particular, 
In the field of osteoporosis, many research groups around the world are pursuing this topic to better understand about osteoporosis and bone loss mechanism after menopause. Professor Yasha Norayoshumi had some great advices for young scientists. He said that after a period of struggling with the orientation of others that failed, he realized that he must have own way. He said I wanted to do something different from other people. I thought auto-decomposition was going to be an interesting topic, in topic, 